How the heck are you? This is Centauri Stir Fry, your working class statue collector and 90s comics enthusiast. And today, we got the Sideshow Collectibles premium format of Colossus. Colossus, one of the hardest decisions I probably had to make recently as far as statue collecting goes, and I've been cutting back quite a bit, but I knew I had to have a Colossus. He's one of my favorites. I mean, it's like Scott Summers, Colossus, Wolverine, I had to have one of him, and I always liked the original version of him, I really did. Um, but he was like wearing mixed media, I like the pose, I like the sculpt, but he's wearing mixed media, right? So he had like these mixed media trunks on, and it always looked like maybe he just like wet himself during battle, like he was wearing a diaper, like an absorbent material. But there were so many times, for years, for years I was almost like, buy it now, buy it now, but I waited. I really liked the way this thing looked, I liked it, it was like a little bit closer, the costume was a little bit closer to his traditional costume. And XM's is just kind of like a weird funky design. It looks great though, the base is awesome, like, who knows, I'm still not sure if I made the Decision. This is the size of version, and I thought it looked great. I think it's sculpted by Daniel Bell. I could be wrong. Who is it? Somebody like that. Kind of a boring box, though. Here's the the, uh, the chest design, like the belt X or whatever. This is the exclusive, so it comes with the uh, Lockheed, which I don't care about. Bamf! One of my favorite big guys in Marvel, and I always love the big characters. You know, Thor, Hulk, Fame. I like him. He's one of my favorites, because he's like a gentle soul. He's an artist, and he's always just limited by his own uh, self-confidence, and a lot of times that's the only thing that holds him back. First appearance. Oh, Giant Size X-Men, number one, 1975. First appearance of Colossus, Storm, Nightcrawler, <sighs> Thunderbird. Anybody? When are they going to come up with a statue of that? Might be a while. And I always like to talk about like an issue that I'm fond of. It's a current book. It's Astonishing X-Men. This is Joss Whedon with John Cassidy. I recommend this. I think this might be one of the last great X-Men stories in my opinion. This is great. This is the Omnibus. So you don't have to buy that. You can actually buy the single issues for like a dollar. What issue is it? One, two, three, four. Issue six. I think that is the return of Colossus. And boy, what a moment. It's nipple hard, man. <laughs> it's glorious. Easy to find. Easy to get. You can, you'll enjoy it. So let's get into this thing. I'm really excited about it. I've been wanting a Colossus for so long. Peter Rasputin. Yes. <laughs> Smells like Mother Russia, which I think that's like sausages and gunpowder, right? Isn't that what Russia smells like? It's all packaged up pretty good. Yeah, his base is solid. What are they trying to do? Hurt somebody? Oh, that's classy. That's sweet. Really dig that. That's awesome. 453 of 750. Oh, I'm starting to get teary eyed. Nipple hard, teary eyed. Yeah, not too shabby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I do like that. That's in there pretty easy. I think I'm down with this. <laughs> well. Excuse me. What is this? What, what the hell is this? What is this? What are all these extra pieces? What's this do? What's this go? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Bam! All right, here's the Sideshow Collectibles Colossus Premium Format next to the Coon. Come on, buddy. You're a damn hero. Colossus. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. At first, uh, my initial impressions of him weren't very high. It wasn't very high at all. Um, I just felt like he was like missing a lot of color and pizzazz and uh, spirit fingers. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's grown on me. I mean, I've had it for a couple days now. I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm starting to like it a lot more. I like it. Now, there's certain things that, there's some pros and cons. I would say overall, um, it's a good size. It's a great size. These fists are big. He's a hulking dude. Um, but the colors are just kind of way too muted for me. Um, but I just love the anatomy and the sculpt, and I even like the base. Here's the base. It's very, very big. It's very, very heavy. I mean, this spiky little ball, this little coronavirus here, is very, very heavy. It's solid. Let's see what it is. Ah. 13. 13 inches wide. So it's pretty pretty good, but it's not impossible to display. It's okay. And again, it has like these danger room elements, which I think is actually painted pretty well. I really dig the black. It's like a really shine. It's not showing up here. Uh, but in between these blue lines, there's kind of like a glossy black element, kind of giving it like a, you know, an altered reality kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Um, lots of good paint in the spiky bowl, which looks good. Like little hints of rust and patina. Anyway, it's just a very uh, standard, oh, there's some Wolverine claw marks back there. Can you see that? Oh, oh, oh. gotta have Wolverine everywhere. He's gotta, you know, where this just doesn't sell. Definitely like reminiscent of his classic costume, but look how muted it is. I mean, maybe even the light is making it brighter than it actually is, but I don't know. It's just really dark yeah, to me. Lots of really cool detail though. I like uh, I like all the stretchiness, the fabric stretchiness. So he's always got these sweet, sweet boots on. They almost look like just like a rave converse, like he should go to a rave or something like that. Lots of kinky, crazy uh, Russian clubs out there. I've heard stories and uh, I would never go to one, no way. Uh, too old for that. He's got the big old spiky shin boots that are pretty classy, kind of like uh, something Cher would wear. You know, Cher would probably wear these boots. She would love it. Um, but the star of the show is definitely the metal. It actually looks really good when uh, just a little bit of light hits it. The metal skin actually looks really good. I, although, I probably would have preferred more uh, black marks in the planking, because I always like, liked the way Colossus' his armor looked when it was just like the black lines going through there. So you could uh, almost imagine it forming over his skin, kind of like the Batmobile from 1989, you know? 
just a personal preference of mine, but I really dig it. So you got some a nice glossy gold shiny element there on his uh, belt, which looks pretty cool. And then it's got like again this red on the belt that I feel like I would have liked to have seen everywhere, but it wouldn't make sense because this is like more of a, uh, I guess, a, I don't know, like a fabric material and then you've got like more of a leathery, metally belt type, type of thing. <laughs> metally, yes, that's the word. Metally. Really nice anatomy though. And I really, really dig the yellow. And I think the, maybe the light's too bright, but it's almost like a mustardy, but there's nice shading in there. And I really dig that, like just a little bit of stretchiness, like where the seam is, or some seams in there, a little etchings. And for some reason, I've I'm just got this like craving for a, for a Big Mac now all of a sudden. I really want a Big Mac. Come aside here, just more awesome anatomy. Like he's just hulking and big. I was worried about that. He actually, I think he's bigger than he appeared in all the, like the Comic-Con photos and everything. He does look big. These big Russian guns, man. You want to talk about Cold War? Look at that. A nice measured uh, stance where he's just taking his time to get into the battle. Like they took off on the Blackbird without him, you know? Be like, hey, come on. <laughs> They're like, hey, Beast, come on. We have to go fight the Juggernaut. How about you and Angel come with us? Where's the Colossus? Eh. We don't need them. And they left them behind, which is probably a dumb move. The armor plating is actually really cool. It really grows on you. Um, it's not bright, shiny. I don't think I'd want like a chromed out Colossus. The size of this hand oh, is definitely large and in charge. Oh, here's the difference in, in scale. I mean, here's regular old Magneto. Sure, he's an old, he's an old hippie. But uh, he's got this hand, and this is Colossus is like, now look at this thing. Putin would be proud of that. And here's Peter's back. And here's Peter's back. If that's what you're into. Perverts. You know, he's got really broad shoulders, just a giant freaking bag. Just, he's stacked. He's, he's a freaking unit, I guess you could say. Here's my gauntlet, takes up most of it, you know, but I mean, lots of really cool detail in the back. I love the paint job here. It's really nice. That yellow really pops out, it really catches your attention. They did a really good job with that. I love the head sculpt. I think it's near perfect. I like how the eyes are kind of just shining through that look, like pit of black. Cool, collected, stern, just like, just like I got this, this like, this battle is mine. Okay, you mess with my friends. Okay, you picked the wrong house. Bub. Wait, that's another guy. That's a six foot tall Australian. I really dig that strand. Look at that jaw. Yeah, it's good. That's cool. I think my only complaint would be that I would have preferred like a glossy hairdo. I don't know. It seems like all the old artwork from the 90s and stuff, like the stuff that Jim Lee did, even like maybe like the burn stuff. Or, people did it for a long time. It's like they had like the blue in there and light would just reflect off his hair, it seems like. Anyway, I love this piece. I think it's pretty cool. Is it blowing my freaking Crocs off? Not necessarily, just because there's so many different options out there. I'm still not sure. I'm a little apprehensive to, to make a final judgment call and say, hey, look, yeah, this is the best Colossus ever. I don't think it is. It's just a personal preference. Um, I preferred the costume, so I'm very happy to get this. I think I'm done. I just hope he doesn't get buried in an X-Men collection. All right, let's, let's take a look at the exclusive. It's a little dragon. Look, here's Lockheed, which I'll admit is pretty adorable and pretty spot on as far as sculpt and design. That's pretty sharp, man. That really does look like Lockheed. Pretty cool, and it's actually painted well, and I like the purple, and it's just not bad at all. He sits on here like a magnet and just grips it perfectly, and that's just awesome. I, I originally I didn't get I didn't give a damn about this, I didn't care. But after opening up and looking at it, I was like, oh, I really it brought so many memories back. I was like, okay, I dig this, not too shabby at all. I really like the way Lockheed looks, and it's adorable. Before we get out of here, a little size comparison with the Sideshow Rogue maquette and the growing on me. I'm starting to dig it. Colossus premium format, which I think is pretty cool. He's a keeper, I think. It's not blowing my Crocs off, uh, but overall, I really dig it. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the size, the girth. I hate that word, girth. Do you guys like that word, girth? It's like moist girth. That's a weird one, moist girth. Anyway, I still dig it, still happy. I think if you're trying to build an X-Men collection and you want to get like a reasonably priced Colossus, that's probably the best way to go, is the Sideshow version. Um, I'm really regretting my decision of passing up on Juggernaut. Maybe I'll change that one day. All of a sudden, I'm like, got this weird twitch. My eyes are twitching like developing a tick. I can see some major changes to the collection coming soon. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it. Guys, remember, spade into your pets and fear is the mind killer. We'll see you next time.